just done a nice meditation, my, my breathing, my Wim Hof breathing. And uh, I'm gonna stay for the sunrise. I'll share that with you. I'm so grateful where I live. Yeah. And when I say that, I mean planet Earth. There's so much beauty. I remember uh, listening to Osho, and Osho said, the Earth is already beautiful. The only thing that makes it hell is hatred. Yeah. All it needs from our path is love and we'll have heaven on earth. And if you think about it, that is such a true statement because the only thing that makes this earth a living hell <clears throat> is humans contributing hatred to it. If we could actually start living together peacefully and loving one another and loving our earth and respecting everything, uh, equal, we would see paradise, we would see heaven on earth because all of the external pollution we see is our pollution. It's an external manifestation of our collective uh, con consciousness, co-creative consciousness. We live in fear, we live in hatred, we watch the media and as a result of that we believe we are separate from our world and one another. We think we can just pollute the earth, we pollute our minds, we pollute our bodies. And as I said, the state that the earth is in right now is an outward reflection of where humanities are. But we are changing, absolutely. There is a wave of a, a spiritual consciousness that I believe is taking over the, the mass consciousness of uh, human beings on this planet and uh, more and more people are talking about unity, understanding the concept, wanting to contribute peace to the field and uh, <clears throat> we will see change. It might be a difficult process before we get to a uh, world peace but it doesn't have to be. Uh, there will be a purification process but that all depends on us as human beings we are we are built with an internal technology that allows us to change our reality very uh, very fast um, if we all came on board we would see change uh, very fast we really would but you know we'll see what happens human beings usually wait for disaster before they uh, respond with resilience and love and unity. Uh, they don't. They don't tend to uh, um, fix the problem before it's happened. But at the same time, I don't feel we've ever been this uh, spiritually awake as we are right now. So uh, I do believe in humanity. I believe the human beings are a compassionate and loving species. We're just lost right now. When you look at children, they're pure. You know, they're pure, they just want to love everything. And if you get to speak to people when you're not, you know, in a crowd, you know, you get one-on-one -on -one with people and they open up. Everybody I speak to, good people, they all want the same thing. We all want peace and we don't want suffering. So, uh, yeah, I just thought I'd share this morning with you. I love you all. I believe we can make it and I, I believe we will make it. So, I'll let you see this beautiful view again. Look at this. Glad I could share the morning with you. Have a beautiful day, everyone. Love you all.